Welcome! This video demonstrates Acronis Snap Deploy 4, the fast bare metal provisioning tool for PCs and servers. Snap Deploy 4 deploys an image to multiple physical or virtual machines simultaneously, including dissimilar hardware using the Universal Deploy plugin. There are three steps to a deployment. First, I'll demonstrate how to create a master image, and second, how to boot the target machines, and third, how to deploy the master image to those machines. Step 1. Creating the master image. At the Management Console, select Tools, and choose Create Bootable Media. Select the components to place on the bootable media. I'll check the Agent and Master Image Creator and click Next. The name of the master machine appears. The bootable agent will use this machine to connect automatically to the deploy server. Click Next. Choose Acronis Pixie Server and click Next. Input the administrator credentials to allow Snap Deploy access to the Pixie server and click Next. Components are uploading. Click OK. On the machine that will be deployed, boot the master machine in BIOS. Select Save and Exit before rebooting. After the machine boots, select Master Image Creator. I'll skip the configuration process and use Automatic Configuration by clicking Cancel. Select the partitions from the system disk and click Next. Specify the folder to save the image and click Next. Review the options to include with the image. Click Next. Review the summary screen and click Create. The master image is generated and the machine reboots automatically. Step 2. Booting the target machine. Make sure the network boot has a higher priority than the hard drive. In the Pixie server screen, boot the machine from the network and select the agent. The agent connects automatically. Step 3. Deploying the master image. On the machine where I installed Snap Deploy, I'll attach the drive with the master image. Select the machine's view. The target machine displays in a ready state. Click on it. Right-click the target machine. Click Deploy Image. Click Create New. Select the E-Disk. Select the master image. Click Next. Select the volume you want to deploy. Click Next. I'll select the default deployment settings and click Next. The summary window appears and click Create. I choose this deployment template and click Next. I will run the task now to start the deployment and click Next. Review the summary window and click Create to finish. Progress is shown on both the agent side and at the server side. The deployment is complete. The target system reboots upon completion. The new system is now operational. That's all there is to it. When a deployment is carried out, I can use multicasting for simultaneous deployment across multiple machines and reduce errors through automation and certification. To learn more about Snap Deploy 4, go to our website or download a trial version.